Hey what's up everyone, Cameron here. Today I'm coming to you guys with another video on how to draw the human eye. I'll explain my approach in the simplest way that I can. Feel free to pause the video at any time if I happen to go too fast. I hope this video tutorial helps you as well as supports you on your art journey. Feel free to let me know in the comments below what else you guys would like to see a video on. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. And now, let's get started. So first, you want to start with just a simple circle, pretty much. And I normally just do like two like reference points on each side just to give myself like a guideline of where I'm going to draw the upper lid of the eye pretty much. Then the bottom lid. The bottom lid's going to basically f like uh, sit underneath the, um, the top lid. drawing the um this is beneath pretty much the eyebrow ridge like the bump of the eye pretty much it's the part that closes over the bottom lid there a tear duct Drawing in the iris. And normally you want to start with the iris. Just don't don't do it. As far as like um you want to start out really lightly at first and then kind of darken the lines on the, the top portion because that's where the shadow is, pretty much underneath the It'll be underneath the um, the upper lid, and you'll see how I kind of define that right now with the, just a, um, like a little subtle cast shadow. And I usually I try to like connect the cast shadow to the um, the pupil of the eye just to give that illusion of um, some depth, I guess you could say. And normally you don't want to like outline the um, the pupil instead you want to just kind of shape it with like the shadow instead kind of connect it like so kind of darken the, um, the iris as well just the top portion since that's the only part that's kind of being covered by the the upper lid and now we're gonna do a, um, like a quarter view Give yourself some like um, reference points. This one I kind of just did one side for now. This is a little, a little, um, be a little difficult to find the the other side when it's like covered. So. bottom lid and this line is basically like the thickness of the, the bottom lid pretty much it's that white part drawn in 
tear duct. Drawn in the iris. This is pretty much like the thickness for the upper lid, as you can see. So it's basically kind of like the same steps, but just from a different angle. It's just the hard part is always usually you have to know just the, um, pretty much the, the, the structure of the eye first before you can really draw it from any angle, I, I would say, because it just, even for me, it's still to this day can be like tough. But if you know like the basics of how the, how the eye functions and just the the part of different parts of the eye then you're you're pretty much in in a good spot i would say but i will say eyes can be pretty tough still to this day <laughs> along with a lot of stuff or it's like just different parts of the body when it comes to just even ears or noses and lips and stuff like that so but with rep rep with the uh, um repetition you get better so right here we're going to be doing the um i believe the side view now so again you want to start with a circle just a simple circle and it's the top lid Side view is usually a little bit easier. I think of it as like a um, a shape of a Pac-Man. <laughs> that makes sense. So it's like a pretty much drawing like as far as like the inner part of the lid is just the mouth of the of the Pac-Man maybe, and then you'll see it's just as far as like right here. When I start. You can see it from like this the shape of it. It kind of looks like a um, the mouth of a Pac-Man character. I don't know if that's a good comparison, but it might help you if you wanna some kind of reference or some kind of um, thing to just help you out in your. Eyelashes. Normally, I like to just do like um, some squiggle lines for lashes, but usually you want to do it where it's just like maybe one shape, but then you can go back in and just kind of um, like um, individualize each strand, where it's like maybe not every single strand, but do it where it's just kind of like it's it's connected with just like the cast shadow underneath the um, upper um, upper lid 
and it kind of merges with the eyelashes to give that illusion that it's it's um, covering the eye so think of it as like usually you want to think of it as like one shape rather than all individual strands because sometimes that could take forever to just draw every single strand you know um, yeah Here I'm just pretty much adding on the uh, eyebrows. It's kind of like, so for instance, like what I'm doing right here, it's like it's pretty much just squiggle lines, but um, I'll do the same thing with just the, um, the eyelashes and then go back in and kind of define it more in certain areas where I'll make it darker. So usually, with eyebrows, with um, yeah, eyebrows. It's usually the um, the start of the eyebrows is usually darker, and then as it transitions to the back part, it gets a little lighter. At least from what I've referenced. So some people have different eyebrows, of course, but <laughs> majority is usually the it's like a transition of from dark to light. So. just going in and finding certain things. Adding some shadow. The um Brow Ridge. And that's that. 